to do a quick sketchbook tour of three of my most recent sketchbooks because you might have noticed that I took down all my other sketchbook tours because I realized that I put my name in some of those and that's dangerous so I took them down so I'm read well I'll redo those later if I feel like it because those drawings are so gross <laughs> so we're just gonna do my most recent ones that I'm proud of <laughs> So we're starting at sketchbook 27 going through 29. My current one is 29, but it's not finished yet, but I'm still gonna go through it because these two don't have much to look through in, but we're doing that anyway. So here, sorry still for the shaky camera because I'm going to order a phone holder so I can film without holding my phone, but that's besides the point anyway. <laughs> Here's this one. I decorated it with stickers of Studio Ghibli movies because those are amazing. And this one I started, um, I don't remember dates, but 816 last year. I'm actually really proud of this one. I got, um, it was like a base from Pinterest that I saved and I wanted to draw it as myself because I'm a witch. The only thing I do not like is this foot because it's not proportioned right. Next, we have just some sketches of some character designing. None of them really became characters except for this guy. That guy is already a character. This, oh, I was trying to do some more realistic stuff. I didn't like that one, but I've gotten pretty good at drawing in a more realistic style. Um, here, I saw this thing where you can draw random shapes and then turn them into things, so that's what I did. I like the shoe, and yeah, that's pretty much the only one I really like. These are kind of weird. And then we have some more character designing. These two I don't use all that often, but I still like the concept. I've been trying, as you know, I've been working on a comic, and I usually take forever to do those and usually don't finish them. But I think I'll finish that one and then work on some other ideas. This one is going, I wanted to turn to a comic for concept sketches. This guy is a cat human thing. This guy is a normal human. This was for my art class that I was taking. We had to work on some like scale and balance stuff. This is what I came up with. I don't know what was going on. Oh, uh, this was also for art class. We had to draw what we thought heroes meant. And of course I thought of my hero academia, but I had to draw some other things instead of just the heroes in that show. So some of this stuff like helping, I don't like those ones, but you know. Here's some more sketches for those characters I showed just a bit ago. I gave them names and backgrounds, sort of. This, I really like this sketch of him, except his head is a little screwed up. And, you know, <laughs> these boxes are for their, their pride flags, so I could remember what sexuality they were. I never finished these because they were supposed to be colored. And here's the other guy, Carter. Oh, that one's Mason. This is Carter. Yeah, you can read those if you want. Here are some doodling because I found this nice pen I really liked and of course I said, let's waste the ink because that's what you do with a nice pen. But I wrote this word for some reason. I tried drawing shoes, didn't work. And then that creepy eyeball, I don't know. More sketching, the, this I started, this sketchbook was from like, few months ago and I kind of stopped drawing for a period of time. That's why I don't have many YouTube videos coming out. So I kind of forgot how to draw because I didn't draw for a long time. I've gotten better at it. I've been going through drawing, re redrawing old stuff to try and help get my inspiration back. But yeah, there's this. This was also a Pinterest thing. Those have also been help. Pinterest has also been helping me my inspiration following <laughs> so if you follow me on Pinterest you can find this in the original um 
<laughs> some My Hero Academia drawings because I finished the seasons a while back and I was just re I was watching the movie because I own the CDs, well one of the movies, and so I was drawing some of the characters. We love Aizawa. He's our favorite. Just kidding. I, my favorite is Kirishima, but Aizawa is probably my second favorite. We got an OC, me and my brother made. Um, Margaret tips over. She's an old lady. Yeah, I talked about her in the other sketchbook tours, so if you watch those before I deleted them, you'd probably recognize her, maybe. Um, this was going to be a comic idea, but then I decided let's do an animation of it, but I never did it. But I still have the idea, so if I get what I want is to get an iPad with an Apple Pen because my tablet, my drawing tablet, I can't find any good animation um, websites, not websites, apps, programs that I want to use. I like Flip a Clip the best, so I'm thinking about trying to get an iPad to do those on because it's hard on your phone, trust me, <laughs> but... Yeah, here were the characters and how they would age throughout the thing. This guy had a broken arm and that's why they related. This was, the main story was going to be on the bus because I got the idea from sitting on the bus on my way home from school. And so I was like, oh yeah, let's do that. <laughs> um, I keep saying, um, <laughs> this is Albert. He is the ghost that lives in my house. This is also where I was freaking out about getting a dog. His name is Bruce, by the way. This was a while ago, so he's like five months old now. But he's chilling somewhere around here. I was really excited because I've always wanted a dog for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Some doodles because I upgraded my mini people style, sort of. So it's, they have legs. <laughs> That's like all I added, legs. But I was just drawing some things with it um this is also this is leaf he's a character of mine he doesn't really do anything except exist <laughs> as most of my characters do more characters among us characters because i was into among us like most people were <laughs> but these are their names i'm ivan button and chris they're all boys well this she is a girl, but she pretends to be a boy, so like, I don't know. I wrote this weird story for her, I can't quite remember, but she was pretending. He is the imposter, but these two fall in love, and this little doodle drew that and put it on my wall because I liked it. Some doodles, sketches, um, I don't remember what this was for. I think that was based off of, oh yeah. I think it was based off of this anime I was watching at the time. It's really good. It's only a few episodes, but I actually really like it. And then I was playing Call of Duty, so I drew that. And character of mine, I think that's the character. I I was practicing drawing hats, and I actually really like how that turned out. I was practicing crying. I draw like this now, but that's how I used to draw it. And I was like, that doesn't really... Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that doesn't really work. And then there's me crying, because why not? And this is Dog the Cow. Oh, my friend drew that on my hand once. I don't know. Oh yeah, here's the character I was just talking about. His name is Dylan. He doesn't have a last name, but I drew this in one of my classes, and I really liked it. So I glued it in here. And I gave him all these traits, all his background, all that stuff. And I drew around it, and then I really like this page of all... I guess because it's really busy and most of my pages of characters have a few sketches of them and then I never use them again. Dylan, I draw most of my homework, but most of his story out so I can like make him into a comic or an animation or whatever. So he's kind of just here at the moment. But if you have any ideas what goes on with his life, you can comment down below. Tell me. Because <laughs> I don't know what to do with him. <laughs> more among us my friend or they were my friend they're not chill anymore <laughs> but they told me to draw this orange among us person for them i never get them some math which sucks doodles again more doodles i was comparing jughead to dylan because i was like they look very similar jughead from riverdale um i 
think that was for like an art project. I had to come up with a one line logo for something to, oh yeah, I was supposed to make it into a patch. I didn't use that design right there. I used something else. But I really like this dress. And this guy, um, I can't remember. I think it was based off of something I was learning in history. I can't remember the name, but it's where like they first, where back in the old days, people thought, I don't know how to explain it, let me think. It's based off of when people thought witches existed, which they do by the way, <laughs> but when they like killed people because of them being witches for just like knowing simple math. But we watched a little video about it and the characters that were witches looked like this and I thought it was really cool so I decided to make it into a character. I haven't really used it that much but you know. Some more practice with Dylan holding his guitar. It still doesn't look good because his arm is in the wrong place. Some leaf and twig drawings because those are those two characters. Um, I don't remember. I think this person I was going to make a character but I didn't. Here's some Maddie. I don't know if I've showed her before, but she's a character of mine. She's an alien. And then here's some planning out for my friend's birthday. I was going to draw their birthday picture on my channel, but I never got around to it because I wanted to do it on paper. But I don't. I didn't know how I was going to film that. <laughs> Here were some drawings of more, I guess, unique poses is what I called it. Because I was trying they weren't the best. This one is okay. This one you can't even see. It's covered up with marker. But here's the designing process for that poster. There are like a thousand more pictures and drawings of this just in many different concepts. I, I couldn't figure out how I wanted to draw the crayon box without it looking like a Crayola box because I didn't want that. Because I don't think the Crayola box is the best looking crayon box. So I tried figuring out the one up on the wall is the one I settle on. It has like a, the primary colors coming down the sides and it just says crowns with stars and stuff. But this was, I was trying to figure it out and I was still trying to figure out poses and colors and everything. Frog box, I, I don't know. <laughs> Here was more designing for it. This is where I chose the actual idea. I was actually gonna do either this one or this one because I liked it better. This one I just drew for fun, but I liked the idea. And then it got the most votes because I went around asking people what I should draw, which one it should be, and that one won. So <laughs> I'm kind of glad it did though because that I actually really like it. And it fits on my wall pretty good. <laughs> Some more <laughs> crayon box drawings. I was gonna do a bunch of frogs on it because if you didn't know, I don't know if I've said this, but frogs are my favorite animal and they are the cutest little things in the whole world. <laughs> but I was gonna do a bunch of frogs, but I ended up with the other idea. Some character designing. I don't think I ever gave her a name. I think she was based on the video game I saw my brother playing. But here she is. Yeah, just some poses. Okay, you're gonna be so surprised. I just barely started watching Naruto just a few months ago, <laughs> but he's my favorite character already and we're only like about 20 episodes into the first season of the first, I don't know what to call it, but he's the best character and I love him with all my heart. That drawing isn't the best, but the, I drew this while we were watching it. Me and my brother are watching it together. And then this is watercolor because I got some watercolors from my art teacher. This was going to be an animation like because I saw a YouTuber I'm subscribed to them now where they like cut pieces of paper out and then do stop motion animations and I wanted to try it but I never got around to it so here were the remains <laughs> I started playing Pokemon Shield and Sword I don't remember which one I have I think we have Sword this is my character and I wanted to draw him but I hated this sketch so much and then I tried drawing some Pokemon, gave up. So, yeah. <laughs> this was the birthday drawing, and I was proud of this sketch, right? But then my markers were dying, and my, ugh, it does not look good. This did not turn out okay. But my friend lives 
three hours away from me, so all I had to do was send a picture and not send them the original drawing, so that's okay. So they can't look at it closely and see all the splotches, the messiness. <laughs> but yeah, this, I drew this back in November, so this is how old that is. It's been a few months. Um, a little Naruto, Spongebob's, Pokemon, I don't know what that is. A creepy eyeball. Oh yeah, Pokemon Sword. Yeah, practicing with noses. I was thinking about maybe changing my nose style up. Didn't do that. And yeah, on the back here I have some Riverdale thing. I cut this out of a magazine. Some stickers, Rocket Kiss stickers. And yeah, that's that one. Next one. This one I kind of just finished about a month ago. We have my Zoomy stickers here, and I wrote on the front, it says my name. And then in here, let me take this out. I'm not gonna pull that one out, but this is Noah, the character. I hate this drawing so much. I just liked the paper, but ended up drawing this. So that's why Maya is on the front. This is another character of mine. I actually really like this drawing of her. I did it with Crayola markers, so I'm pretty proud of it, yeah. I put her back in one-handed. Okay, we'll just leave her for now. And then, I think I already said this, zoomy stickers. Okay, <laughs> this this is my character in Among Us. I'm called Dirt, so if you've ever played with someone named Dirt that looks like this, that was me. But in one of my games, I found another person named Dirt and they looked like this, and so I was like super excited, so we became friends. Yeah, I haven't seen them since then, but it was fun. Dirt, if you're watching this, I doubt you are. Hey. <laughs> um, this collage sort of thing I did. Call I call it quiet flowers. I don't. I like the drawings. I just don't. I don't know. I drew this at 12 at night. I'm pretty sure, so that's why I put a clock on it. And all those scribbles were individually done. Yeah, I know. That's so impressive. <laughs> yeah, I actually really like it. I'd probably change a few things of it though. Make it a little bit more collage -y, more drawings instead of, there's like more words. And all these papers right here with the boxes, they're all glued on and stuff. I did the um, splotch. I don't remember what I said before. I did that thing again, and this one is now my favorite. Because, yeah. <laughs> Another challenge I did, because this is where I was running out of drawing ideas, so I listened to the radio, not my normal playlist, because why not? So I turned my radio on and listened to the songs that came on, and I drew what they reminded me of, or at least a little sketch of them. So... We have Break My Heart, Go Crazy, Stressed Out, It's The World Was Ending, which is a good song. Baby I'm Jealous, Blinding Lights. I hate this song, but I love this drawing to it. Um, therefore I am Wonder and Lose Control. And yeah, people keep lifting up my sticky notes, which by the way, I don't know if anybody knows this. If there's a sticky note on an artist's sketchbook anywhere, they're covering up something they do not like, so do not lift the sticky note to see what is underneath because that stresses me out so much. I'm sorry, some of my friends do that. Hey guys, <laughs> but please don't lift my sticky notes. I glue them down for a reason, so when you rip them off my page, it. <laughs> but, anyways, moving on. Let's see, what is this? Some more doodles I did in class, I'm pretty sure. I like that one. That is my stuffed animal pig. She's right there next to my frog. <laughs> um, her name is Penelope. I made her. We, well, yeah, I did make her. I made her when I was like four. At a, it was like sort of Build-A-Bear, but more, I don't remember what it was called. Am I? I don't remember, but I made her. I stuffed her and stuff like that. She has a tutu, but she's not wearing it. This blood because I was practicing drawing blood at the time because I don't really know how. I actually really like this one. Um, I drew this with my friend. She also drew it. It was a photo I found on Pinterest and so I was like, let's draw it together. I like this little one a little better than this one. 
hers was also really cute too. Then there's this one I also found on Pinterest. Nugs, not drugs, because this shirt says Nugs now. <laughs> and I drew this guy. Here's this, I drew this. This idea like came to me just late at night when I was getting ready for bed. I was talking to my friends in the group chat and then all of a sudden I got this idea and I was like, I'm gonna draw that and I like it because I'm pretty sure I got the idea of the pose from Pinterest, but the only really, excuse me. My favorite part is the wrinkles in the elbow. <laughs> I know, that's, that's so sad, but I'm proud of it. I do like this, but I would probably change a few things if I were to redo it. Okay, next. I was still talking to my friends after I sent them this, and I decided to draw all my friends. So here's my one friend who also drew with me. Um, who also drew this with me. That's her. And then this is like my little main friend group right here. That's me because I am the shortest. I But the funny thing than this about this is I drew this guy, one him. I drew him too tall because these two are about the same size or height and I drew him too tall. And so this is what we s decided he was doing to make him tall. Standing on a dead body. <laughs> We're weird, okay? Comp, don't, duh. <laughs> and I drew this little guy and he turned into this, which I actually really like this one, by the way. Headache. I'm pretty sure I saw that from someone, but I redid it in my own. Oh, it's spicy. And I don't know what that was. This, because I like to skateboard. Well, I longboard at the moment, but I'm learning how to skateboard. And I heard someone say girls can't skate and that pissed me off, so I decided to draw this to represent all my fellow girl skaters out there. So, yeah. I don't like all this glitter I put to the side. I only liked it in her hair, um, little details of her, but it's still okay. Yeah, she's still pretty good looking. I love her outfit. <laughs> if only I could wear that. And then I drew me and my friends again. I like to call us in the I like to call us the crown gang because I learned how to make paper crowns and I made one for everyone. So, crown gang. We're all wearing our favorite animals as socks and our favorite color shirts. And then everything else is just us. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, I like this drawing. I would change a few things like, um, I think I did not like how her leg placement was because she looks so much taller than him, but as you may know, these two were the tallest, so I would change those legs a bit, maybe size her down. But yeah, I really like it. Oh dear. <laughs> I was sad. I can't actually remember why, but I was sad, that's all I remember. So I drew myself crying in this little shadow. And then I drew every single one of these scribbles by hand because that's what you do when you're sad, you know? You know? You relate? No? Just me? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it has a weird texture and I like feeling it, but that's just me. Oh, <laughs> so I started watching Adventure Time a bit ago because everybody said it was such a good show and I only saw like five episodes before then. And then I liked it, but like, it didn't seem like something I'd sit down and watch. But I finished the show I was watching, so I decided to watch this one, and I actually got obsessed with it. This was about halfway through the whole series, and <laughs> might I tell you, that show is one of my favorite shows now. <laughs> this was a bad drawing of it, though. Then we got some more drawings based off of the style mixed with mine. But yep, some more. <laughs> Jake, Finn, Lumpy Space Princess, uh, smack me in the face because why not? Pretty sure this is my sister and I drew her from behind, but I don't like that. And then these stickers I got, so I really like this artist. Her comic books are my favorite. I love her art. 
I wanted to put these stickers somewhere because they were sitting in there doing nothing. I guess I could have kept them there because I'm not going to get rid of those books, but I put them in here and I kind of regret doing it. I should have. They were on the cover of this book, but they all fell off, so I decided to just put them in here where they couldn't fall off. I'm pretty sure like two of them are missing though. Things in my style, I didn't really finish. It was going to be a whole page of everything in my style because I don't really draw things. I usually draw people, but here we are. <laughs> this I would draw differently now. These were like really rough sketches. They're not that good. Oh boy. So this is Albert. This color drop does not do him justice. I used the wrong materials to try and color him. So don't go off of that one. This one is more accurate coloring to his skin and hair at least. This one, I was just showing his scars, but you know, his clothes I guess would be sort of the same color as this. I imagined him more blue, so his pants might also be blue instead of green. But here he is. This was me starting to write his story out. This is him interacting with me, even though I can't see him. Yes, I believe he actually lives here. Do not come after me because there is definitely a ghost living in my house. He's chill though, so we like Albert. He's very polite. This is all of his backstory. His name is Albert Dayton. He lived from 1857 to 1876. Died at 19 years old. He had by a gunshot to the chest, two gunshots. He has PTSD because of it. He lived, he used to live around the area where my house is, so he lives here. He's a super nice ghost. He had a dad and two sisters, and they were poor. Murdered by the same person who killed Stan, sister survived, mom died of unknown disease way before any of this, but yeah. This was my demonstration of what happened. <laughs> but yeah, that, I really like Albert. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> this I actually remember doing, so, well, I remember doing all of these, but this one I know why. A while ago, I drew a creepy picture, a creepy picture in one of my mom's or someone's notebook, and I came across it a few days ago, and I redrew it, and this one I like so much better, so I decided to put it in here, and I wanted to draw an angel, but it's... Nah, I don't like the angel. We like this one better. I don't, I don't know what that face is doing there. I draw faces for no reason. Oh, I got some new markers for Christmas. Some watercolor brush tip markers that also have a pen nib, and I really like them. They're pretty good. The color, the more skin tony colors like this one and browns, they aren't the best to use for skin tones, so I don't like those. So I gave it an 8 out of 10 because of that. But also since they're water markers, water based, they feather a lot and wear at the paper. But other than that, I actually really like them. There's a variety of colors. Some look almost exactly the same, but that's okay. I still like them. I use them for a lot of things like calligraphy and stuff, which I have gotten into recently. Here's my Adventure Time art, the finished one. The only thing I would change is this hat. The <laughs> Finn's hat is a little bit off center. Because at first he was looking straight at the viewer, but then I decided to turn him about halfway through my drawing, and I forgot about turning his hat string, so now, ooh. But other than, other than that, it's really nice, and I like the background because it used a combination of the Adventure Time stripes into this, and I like it, it's okay. The sword is a little bit too small because you can tell. <laughs> Other than that, it's very nice. Some faces because I sort of have same face syndrome, but like, <laughs> I can draw other faces. I just usually draw this one on pretty much all my characters, this one. But I've gotten better at it, drawing more like the, these kinds. This one I don't draw, but I draw some more of these ones. I've gotten better at it. Like, here for example, I liked that one eye. It reminded me of a YouTuber's character, but I decided to make my own character out of him. And his name is Crew. He doesn't exactly look like this. Um, he has more of a long face, more like this, more oval than in a circle. But this is his sketching face. And I decided to put him in a story 
and this is where I was designing the logo of his shirt and stuff and figuring out side profiles at the moment. And I decided to call him Crew and he is in a band and his band name is called The Paper Crowns. And I so far I only have I think two characters, him and another one that are a part of it. I might add Dylan to it, but I'm not sure yet. But here's Crew. <laughs> Um, I was trying some more noses. I didn't, I don't end up using it, but I actually really like this drawing. I would probably fix her shirt a bit. Um, this one, I liked at the moment, but I absolutely despise it now because I, mm, this is when I was still trying to figure out this sort of style thing. It's changed the tiniest bit, but it looks so much better now. I think it was mostly because the pen smeared, but other, I still don't like it. Um, this one is a little better. I'd probably change her face a bit because it's super small. But yeah, some more faces because I was figuring out noses. A frog who is in dying need of help. I'm pretty sure I was probably sad this day. I don't remember why, but yeah. <laughs> No, there's this for this. <laughs> I actually saw, I was driving around and I saw some people. I saw this guy talking to a girl in a restaurant and she was like on her computer and stuff, you know, working. And it looks like he was asking her for a number and so I'm like, I want to draw that, that's really cute. And so I did. And I would change a few things of it just a tiny bit because I'm not good at drawing backgrounds as you can see. <laughs> but I'm working on it. I'm trying to get better at backgrounds. Huh, here's an example. I looked up a picture on Pinterest that I liked and I drew it. It's really messy, but I actually really, really, really like this. Maybe because I don't draw things like this usually, but I actually, yes. <laughs> Pretty nice. I also, it's also on my Pinterest, so if you follow me there, you'll, you've probably already seen it. This is a little off proportion, but other than that, it's pretty good. Okay. Here are some redraws. Um, if you watched my sketchbook tours before I took them down, these were some redraws of those drawings in there. This one, I actually really like. The eyeball is like the only thing that stayed the same. Other than that, I like put it into a different style but also my style because this isn't how I normally draw but I actually really like that and this is when I was getting back into colored pencils because I have so many and I don't use them well I didn't I decided why not and I actually really like colored pencils because I forgot how nice they blended so here's the redraw of another one and I really like the blending this right here there's a random dot in the middle of her chest but other than that it's pretty nice I really like it um, <laughs> I was trying to design a character who had a fishbowl for a head. He never became a thing. Maybe he will. But I was also drawing babies because I like drawing children. <laughs> and then calligraphy. Me being awkward. I drew these at school, I remember now. And then this head, this is, oh, this is like where I figured out how to do this semi-realistic style because I actually really like this little doodle sketch thing. And... So that's like basically how that style is now. Just, there's like some modifications, but it usually looks like this. And yeah. <laughs> some dog facial expressions because I wanted to draw a dog. And so here he is. I don't remember if I named him or not, but I was practicing. I like, I like the sketches because I don't draw dogs all that much. So pretty good. This is my outfit I wore one day and I liked it. And then there was a frog for no reason. I don't like that frog, he looks creepy. <laughs> More colored pencils. I like this one, because this is also when I was practicing the side profiles a bit more. This one, the mom looks a little crazy. The like her side profile isn't as exactly how I imagined, but other than that, this drawing is okay. I would change a few things, but I'm gonna finish them. This girl, she never got a name either. Actually, she might actually be named Riley because I did make a character who looked similar to her and named that, but I'm not sure. So here's her first sketch. I drew her 
Well, I started watching Toilet Bound Hanukkah, which I finished in, well, I finished what there is of, Hulu, of it on Hulu. It's actually a really great anime. I really love the art style so much. It's so pleasing. But I drew her while watching that, and she likes sleeping, and she's cold all the time, so she has a coat. She probably wouldn't be cold if she didn't wear a tank top, but, you know, I like these drawings of her, like, a whole lot. It, cause maybe because she has so much detail in her character design, but I really like her. I also, this is where I learned how to do these sort of piercing things or figured out how to do it in my style. So I like it because I've been able to do all these piercings, but this giant Oreo looking one I haven't been able to do. And so I'm proud of that. <laughs> Last page, I was drawing some sketches, doodles, they're not really anything important. Um, yep, 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 okay. This is my current sketchbook and how I, first I'm gonna talk about how I made this one. So, I always get ginormous sketchbooks for birthdays and Christmas and stuff. And as you know, I don't like using big sketchbooks because I draw really small. Like, this is about as big as my drawings usually get unless it's that poster I made. But, so I decided to cut a whole sketchbook in half so I would have two. So here's the one half and then here's the other half. They go together, but I decided to cut it in half because I needed another sketchbook because that one was the last one I had, besides all my giant ones. So I put them to good use, and now this is it. This is 29. The, I drew a bunch of frogs. That is my boyfriend. <laughs> I love frogs. I love them. All of these were drawn by other people. I just redrew them and put them on here, so they're not mine. I'm not saying they are. This is when you don't bring a sketchbook to school. You design a whole series of characters. So she doesn't have a name, but she likes has paint all over her and she draws a lot. And that's a villager from Minecraft because I kept drawing them. So I'm like, they're cute. <laughs> a little head in her again. And then this is the other guy who's a part of the Paper Crowns. I don't think I gave him a name, but here he is. He also has a lot going on. And this one was his first sketch, but this one's the actual, like, what I actually think he would wear. He has a Hello Kitty shirt on, you know, as you do. Chains, flowers, stickers, band-aids, hearts, everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually really like him. He's pretty cool. Uh, this is based off of the song with the emotions that I had at the moment. <laughs> It's by Alec Benjamin, The Book of You and I. I think it's called Book of You and I. It's one of my favorite songs now, actually. I just recently discovered it. But I really like it. And this drawing, I, it's okay. This is actually sort of me figuring out how to do side profiles a little better. Oh my goodness, this is busy. At first, this was a sketch I was just doing of some little people. Like, with their tongues out. But then it ended up being my doodle page, and I actually really like this character I made. She doesn't have any reason to be here. I just drew her. She's wearing a mask. Keep safe. We have a little Aang and Sokka. And I don't remember who that was. I think it was like a character based on Naruto guy, whatever, Kakashi. <laughs> based off a drawing I saw someone do, I don't remember who it was, so sorry. And a juice box, because why not? Yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I wrote airdrop because me and my friend were airdropping random people at lunchtime at school. It was kind of funny. <laughs> um, up here is math. We don't care about math. Um, I don't remember who that was. I'm pretty sure that's somebody who airdropped us back and I decided to draw them as a person. Or draw them. <laughs> they are a person. I decided to draw them. And then there's me, 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 me. That's not me. <laughs> Dogs. I don't know who those people are. There they are. This is a character I haven't drawn in like five years. I think I drew him once and then never again. So I was trying to draw him from memory. And then same with this one. Falling. <laughs> this character, I was going, it was actually supposed to have clouds for hair. Like she was supposed to be a sky goddess or something. But I hated how the drawing was turning out. So I decided to just quickly finish it, get it over with. 
because I used a base from Pinterest to draw it, but I hated how I was drawing it. I did not like pretty much any of it. And so, yeah. <laughs> my friend says it's her. My best friend says it's her. So we're going to pretend it's her now. We have this I drew when I'm sad. I was sad. It's of me and my friend who lives far away. As you might remember, I've said it about 20 times. This is him. These were all from Pinterest ideas. I think my favorite is this one. I used these drawing, this drawing in my video for him. I made a, like a while ago. Here's me trying to figure out my second style, females. So I'm actually really proud of all of these. That's why they're in here. They were all on a separate paper, as you can probably tell. But I actually really like them. It all started from drawing her, and I was like, okay, I'm getting good at this. So I figured everything out. I've been drawing. I can't draw bodies yet. I haven't figured that out, but I've been putting separate pieces of bodies <laughs> everywhere. Right here, I did have the male version of that, but I hated it, so I decided to give myself a break. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is me, and um, well, the person I like, <laughs> oh jeez, I was drawing them, and I was trying to figure out how I would draw them if I wanted to, and this is also where I figure out side profiles a bit more, because I really like having a little bump in the mouth. Um, <laughs> wait, <laughs> oh dear, everything's fine. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. I drew these. I was going to a cabin for a weekend with my family. And on the way there, my friend sent me a little rat she drew. And I decided to draw it in a different pose in my style. It's okay. It's not my best. I like hers a lot better. But he's being stabbed with a pencil. <laughs> Mine, she made me one. And I call him Robin because his, or Robin Hood because he looks like Robin Hood. Because instead of a party hat, he has a leaf on his head. And he's being stabbed by an arrow, and he looks like Robin Hood. Anyway, here's a sexy cheese. <laughs> this is a inside joke I have with my friend. And then me, me. That's my centaur character. I've never fully designed him, so that looks really dumb. Here's Crew in his final form. <laughs> Focus. I was trying to draw my crush, but it didn't look well. The good drawing I drew of him is in my journal, so you don't get to see it. <laughs> that, and then I like this one. This one isn't the best, it's too close for me to like. Oblivious, because I am. I don't. Is that spelled right? I can't even. But right under here is my crush's name. <laughs> me? I think that's me. Yeah, that is me. And then, yeah. These these ones I drew while I was at the cabin. The rest of these I drew at school when I got back. Um, a prompt I got from Pinterest, childhood friends to lovers. So I drew these two kids first and then I really liked them. I tried drawing these two older in the same day, but I didn't like how it was going. So I left these two for a bit, left them to sit, soak in. <laughs> I actually really like this. And I came back about two days later and drew this. And I actually really like how this one turned out. Um, my friend named her Violet. He doesn't have a name yet. And then here's the little doodles of him. Really like it. Here is a redraw of something that's from my second sketchbook. I actually really, really like this drawing. The original is so creepy. Ugh. I might have to show you. I'll also show you the one my friend drew because she also redrew it. Hers was a little more simple because she didn't color it or anything, but I really like mine, like a whole lot. <laughs> it's it's something good to be proud of. Based off of songs, Princess Doesn't Cry. Here's the side profile. I don't like that one as much. Here's me crying. I don't. I was in a good mood. Why did I draw myself crying? And then that is all I have. Oh, what was that? Oh yeah, I was designing hoodies with my friends. Um, but anyway, that's all that's in here for now. Thank you for watching. I will try and do more videos, I promise. I have ideas, I'm just, I need a phone holder to hold my phone up. I have one saved on Amazon, I just haven't bought it yet. 
but I'm going to get that and then I'll be able to film more because I like traditional art more than digital art and I feel it's a little hard to <laughs> draw while holding a phone so I'm going to get that and then I'll be able to post more and I'll probably read you all of those other sketchbook tours if you want me to. Um, I just wanted to do this one to show you what I've been working on recently and also to show my poster that's I hope do you like it <laughs> I, I actually really like it I think it's pretty cool anyways thank you for watching um bye <laughs> please subscribe and like and if they allow it please comment okay bye <laughs>